building a live streaming platform for developers. And since day one, I put everything at the edge. That includes compute, object storage, and database. Though I quickly ran into the same issues that made Theo move away from Edge, namely consistency and round trip delays. I want to share with y'all how I solved these problems with surprisingly little effort, as well as our plans to move our main platform, Algorithm.io, which is built with T3 stack, also to the Edge. And with that, let's consider the pain number one of using a distributed setup with read replicas, which is the stale reads. So as a user from Europe, when I open the Algorithm TV app, my request is going to end up in the Europe region over here. And this Elixir server is going to fetch the data from the nearest read replica, which might be stale by a few seconds. If we really do care about consistency, like if we have a payment related feature where the user queries their available balance, we could always route this query to the primary over here in the US region so that the user gets the freshest data possible. So in essence, having a distributed setup with read replicas gives us the freedom to choose whether we want to favor consistency or low latency, which is amazing. And moving on to the pane number two, which is read your writes consistency. So here we have a form event handler, which updates the settings of a user, fetches the updated user record and returns that back to the user using this socket connection. But notice that we write to the primary database and read from the replica, which means that the user will likely receive the stale user record because the replication wouldn't have been completed. And the solution to this is quite simple. For any operation that we execute on the primary repo, we just make sure to wait for the replication to occur before returning a response back to the user so that everything is consistent by default. Okay, you might say this works great for a small example like this, but what if we had a more realistic use case where the user connected to the nearest server and the server made some calls to the read replica, but follow that with some calls to the primary and maybe some writes as well, read some writes and all of this round trips would add a lot of latency. And this brings me to the pain number three, which is the biggest pain of all, the round trip latency. And to illustrate this problem, I've built a feature on Algora TV where live streams, we have transcripts. I can click here to edit it and make a simple change. And once I click save naive, what this will do is that it's going to connect to the nearest edge server, which is the Europe. And then for each of these subtitles, of which there are a hundred of these in this particular example, and it's going to send an update to the primary Postgres and then wait for replication and so on 100 times until this whole thing completes. And it just did. And the whole operation took 20 seconds. And now let's try the other button, which supposedly saves it super fast. And the whole operation actually completed within a second. So. There was actually no round trips here. And if we go back to our Ex Excalidra, what happened was that instead of all of these round trips, we have sent the entire transcript and the function to run the Elixir node over here in the US. And this server completed all of those round trips for us. 100 of these before returning a response back to our regional node and back to. And if we look at the code, the change that made all this happen is actually super simple. So instead of saving the subtitles here, the naive save function, we pass this module and the function to run along with the data as arguments 
do this RPC and wait function such that it instead of running this directly, it passes all of this as data to our primary node. And there we run all of these operations back and forth before returning the response back to the region. Now, although I'm using Elixir on fly in my examples, you could set up something like this with other languages and providers as well. So if you're running a TypeScript app on Vercel using a TRPC router, for example, you could split your router into a primary and a replica router such that you pin your primary router to the region where your primary database is and forward all of the writes and consistent reads there while forwarding everything else to your replica router. And in fact, this is the exact type of setup that I'm hoping to adopt for algor.io when we migrate to Edge. So to bring it all together, I think running read replicas on the Edge gives you 90% of the benefits of running a distributed database like Cockroach or Scylla with only 10% of the effort. And that's actually the exact philosophy that I tried to follow for the rest of our stack as well. So instead of running a multi-page app or a complicated React single-page app, I tried to find that 90 10 solution, which I think in this case is Elixir Live View, which gives you SPA-like behavior without being an SPA by the use of WebSockets. And finally, to serve live streams and videos on demand, I didn't want to use a custom CDN or a video streaming infrastructure, but I didn't want to settle for S3 either. And that's why I use Tigris, which is object storage that is globally distributed. And although it is not a CDN, it behaves a lot like a CDN, which was perfect in this case. And that was it for today, and I hope to see you in my next video. Cheers.